Hi, I'm Nicole. Today I'm going to be talking about my journey to success. And I'm talking about how to, um, no, not how to, um, fabulosity versus mediocrity. So I have been around mediocrity my whole life. I mean, everybody has been in some form or another. And I have been fabulous, fabulosity, in so many different areas of my life. I've been fabulous. But being around mediocrity um, when it comes to different people and different organizations sometimes means that you um, are trying to fight against your fabulousness. So you're trying to actually be like great and excellent and trying to, you know, do the best. And some people they say doing the most. Yes, you're trying to do the most because you think that you should be better at whatever you're doing. But what happens is mediocrity, people in the mediocrity want to stay at mediocrity. Like so that they're here. Well, you can't see what I'm doing, but like they're like at a lower level and you're trying to get here. And they're like, no, we want to stay here. And so what's happened is I've been in a number of organizations over the years and there's times where people just want to stay in mediocrity. And I'm like, but wait a minute, we can excel to another level. And they're kind of like, yeah, they never say they don't want to move up higher. I'm not talking to you, um, little baby. Oh, thank you for your input. Um, she agrees with us too, I think. I don't know. So anyway, so, <laughs> this is my daughter. So... The bottom line is that when it comes to mediocrity, you do not want to hang around it. Like, they will pull you down. I did a, a thing long, a year ago about crabs and lobsters. And I said, you know, crabs like love to pull you back down inside of the basket. And they basically try to hold you down. And I said, I'm a lobster, so, you know, get up out of me, out of here. But the bottom line is that mediocrity will do the same thing. I've been in some organizations that are kind of surrounded around, you know, people that don't have money. Um, but then at the same time, I, a lot of us that don't have money have a mentality that we want to or are going to have money, even though we might be in that organization. So some of us want to have a sense of excellence in our lives or want to do things that are of, serve of excellence, but we don't want to... Wow. I'm sorry. And people are, I'm waiting for people to turn across the street so even though you may be fabulous you may be surrounded by mediocrity and if that happens get out because they're going to drag you down there's no way like if you are surrounded by people who are mediocre and they want to stay maintained and be miserable and angry and annoyed and sad and unforgiving and all this stuff and poor and broke and lazy and fat and broke and nasty and dirty and whatever it might whatever the thing is they are not an if they want to get out, they will. They will follow and you two will rock out into the moon, um, into the sunlight, whatever it is. But if they want to stay in that position, they are never going to, um, they're never going to follow you. Like you're, they're never going to be positive people that you're going to be able to be around. Successful people do not hang around, um, negative people. They run from them. I have been studying successful people for a number of years now and they find um, circles of love is what I call them. Circles of love, circles of trust, circles of financial stability. They find circles of, of, of success. That's a good one. Circles of success. So they find people and places and things, nouns, that are positive, that surround them with the, the qualities and the things that they need. They don't stay around people who are like, oh... You want to do that? Well, that's stupid. Well, screw you because you didn't give me an idea. God did. So if I'm going to do something, if if your kid loves baseball and they go to a soccer player and a soccer player, you're like, oh, do you want to do soccer? And they're like, no, I want to do baseball. Well, why don't you just do soccer? But I want to do baseball. But why don't you just do soccer? Because I like baseball. Would you just do soccer? If that's what your kid really loved to do, you should follow your dream, not what somebody else told you to do. But so many of us stay in positions that that was a bad example. But the bottom line is that so many of us stay in places around with friends and family and coworkers and um, organizations and whoever, or spouses and whoever it might be that are negative and that are dragging us down. And we're listening to them instead of listening to God and listen, instead of listening to our instinct and listening to who we are as people. And so we stay in this state of misery. Like I used to be miserable. I'm, I know I was, and at times I go back and forth between it, but it's like learning that, you know what? Life is what God made me, not what you made me to do, not what you gave me. So the bottom line is that if you want to live in mediocrity, 
then stay around people who are mediocre. But if you want to live in fabulosity, then get around fabulous people. Find people who are living their life that they want to live. Find people who are enjoying their lives. Now, you're going to have to go seek them because they're not going to find you. But mediocrity will find you. They find you everywhere. They're in the supermarket. They're at the schools. They're in the stores. They are the 95% of people. Okay, not everybody. It's never, I'm just saying, like, you know. But there's a lot of people that are mediocre. Mediocre, Because we're, we're all part mediocre in, our, in ourselves as well. But you have to find the fabulous people. I don't know what the percentages are. Maybe they're 10%, 25%, 50%, whatever it is. Everybody's fabulous in a certain area. You have to find fabulosity in the area in which you are fabulous. Go find those people. Go seek them out. And don't run from them when they find you. If the people come to you and they're fabulous and they're talking about, oh, this is positive, don't run from them. Go towards them. Run to the light. Because they are the ones that are going to help propel you into fabulousness in your life. I just felt the need to talk about this today because I know that life is so frustrating sometimes and there are days where I just don't feel like doing anything. I need to call somebody and say, listen, help me get out of my stupor. And I don't. And other days I do. But today I just wanted to say this. Get away from mediocre mediocrity. Get away from fab, from um, mediocre people who don't want anything out of life but to stay at the same level. If you want more, then get more and find people that want more too because they're only going to help you to get to the better place. Don't ask mediocre people what your plan looks like or what, should I do this? Should I do that? Because they're always going to tell you no or they're going to be like, uh, I don't know, or maybe you shouldn't or maybe you should Screw you! Ask God. Ask God and ask people in, this, in your, cir- your um, what did I say earlier? In your circle of success. Find those people that have positive attitudes, that are that are um, God-fearing people, that love God, that are actually going towards something in their lives. Don't talk to the people that aren't doing nothing. Don't talk to the people who are smoking weed and not being productive and um, they broke and they complaining and they not happy and they miserable and they angry and they pretended they happy because all of them pretended they happy, but they're not. You know, you have to go around people who are fabulous because you're fabulous too. So find those people today. So today is about not falling into mediocrity, but going into fabulosity. Yes, I said it. Fabulosity. It's a word. Look it up. I just made it up. Or maybe somebody else said it. I don't know. We're, but anyway, um, I'm black. That's what we do. So hopefully this is a word for somebody. I know I'm having to follow my own fabulosity on a daily basis and trying to find it, hunt for it, dig for it, make sure I fight for it because there are days when I don't want to be fabulous. There are days where I am trying to make sure that I maintain my fabulosity, but other days I stay in my medi- mediocrity and I don't want to do that. So get around the right, the right people who help you to be better, who help you to be great, who help you to excel to your fabulous position um, and get you to excellence. Thank you for listening today. This is Legacy Love Success Center, and hopefully this will help you on your journey to success. Bye.